So DD2 Masters go into battle for the final time this weekend. So their final on D, uh, day two of the opening round of the season. And here is your starting order. Carl Clearbot will start from pole position as Jonathan Wimore will start alongside him on the front row. Pritzai and Christoph Adams on row number two ahead of Rudy Champion and Christoph Capitain Champion having his winning streak broken through a uh, an incident on the pre-final but he starts from P5. Ian Gaps and Slavomir Moransky ran out row number four ahead of um, Juris Salaitis with Tom Desser, Bruno Dos Santos, Frederick Bakert and Dmitry Ostrovsky rounding out the 13 strong grid. And after this, we will have our last two races. So this is race 22 of the meeting. And it will be a case of finding out who will lead the way. Because at the moment, Rudy Champion, based on his two victories yesterday, will be in some semblance of advantage, maybe, over Carla Clibbord. But Clibbord has got 65 points at this particular juncture and Clebolt has got two second places from yesterday and a victory today champion two wins yesterday and a fifth in the pre-final So we are about to get things underway for race three this afternoon. Race 22 of the meeting. DD2 Masters with Clevort and Wimmel. They'll be the ones controlling the pace. And we'll see how things change over the next 13 minutes. Plus an additional lap because they are getting themselves steeled and ready to go into the tram lines for the final time. Are we ready? Are we steady? Looks like we've got a good start. Lights out, they are off and racing. Clebolt gets a good initial start. Looks like we have some other drivers trying to make their way through. Rudy Champion's already got himself up into third position as Christoph Adams seems to be leading the train from sixth downwards to 13th position as Rudy Champion making quick hay there uh, whilst the sun shines up the inside of Pritz Sai. And Ian Gaps getting a little bit of a push. Oh, he goes into the back of Rudy Champion. Now, who was right up his back bumper, I wonder? That must have been Jonathan Wimore. So Wimore was a bit too overzealous with the bump draft assist for Ian Gaps, And that nearly could have caused problems for Rudy Champion as a direct result. And Tom Dessert is behind Frederick Baker. Uh, Moransky, in the meantime, is down towards the tail end of the order. He's actually behind Tom Dessert in 12th position as they come across the line to complete lap number one. Carl Klibort has an eight-tenth of a second advantage ahead of Rudy Champion and has also, on the first lap, set the fastest lap of anybody. Oh, Frederick Baker getting his elbows well and Trudy out there. Oh, that was a great move on the inside as uh, there's more changes for position. Ian Gepps not letting Rudy Champion... Uh, get away with second position without a fight as Rudy Champion up the inside. Jonathan Wimore up the inside of Ian Gepps as well. So Gepps loses out two positions in one corner. But it's side from Estonia. Christoph Adams. Christoph Capitan. And it looks like Bruno Dos Santos has uh, made his way through. And the move that uh, Frederick Baker made earlier was on Yurisalaitis from Latvia, who has been dropping down the order. But Carl Clearwalk controlling proceedings. As they come through turn 12, the entire field, they were covered by three and a half seconds last time. Clebolt's lead now is one and a half seconds due to the battling between Wemo, Getz and Champion. 
And Champion being the one leading that three cart brawl. Is there's a problem? Is that Tom Dessert? Oh, his weekend has ended on the biggest bad note possible. The 5.30 from GKS Lemons Power right at the back of the field. I think, if I'm honest with you, the way that looks like all. Oh, now, there was another move, and that was Ian Getz up the inside of Jonathan Wimore. He just literally sent it without, with, no, with complete reckless abandon up the inside of Jonathan Wimore. And on that particular occasion, as Pritzai goes up the inside of the Frenchman too, through turn 10. So in three corners, Jonathan Wimore has dropped two places down from what was third and he's now in fifth place as Christoph Adams closing in Christoph Capitan is there as well as Bruno dos Santos and Frederick Baker and Tom Dessert is still running at the back of the field not where he would want to be or where we would customarily see him in some respects it's been a difficult weekend in the office for Tom Dessert so we have nine minutes and 51 seconds on the clock remaining and it's getting to be like drafts between those like Christoph Adams. Uh, looks like Jonathan Wimore has lost out to the triple five. And then you've got Christoph Capitain, Bruno Dos Santos and I must be honest, uh, Frederick Baker, a.k.a. Goose, uh, has got himself well and truly in the thick of the action. And that's one of the good things that you can learn about racing is by dr fighting with other drivers and learning how to get your skill set up there. And he could have possibly had a look up the inside of Bruno Dos Santos going through turn 12, but he thought better of it on that particular occasion. Clevot has a lead of 1.1 seconds over Rudy Champion, who just sets the fastest lap of the race on lap number four. Gap now 1.129 seconds. So all 13 drivers still circulating as the sunshine continues to beat down here at Karting Genk, the home of champions. And in many respects, now it is 11 degrees Celsius. So the temperature has gone up about five degrees from earlier on this morning for morning warm up. So we have eight and a half minutes to go. Still plenty of battles to be waged and wars to be won here on this circuit. Of course, it's only for the first round of the season, but there are another four complete race days to go in the season. And when we come back after this weekend, we will head to the Circuit Karting des Fagnes International Raceway down in the Namur region of Belgium. A lovely place in the countryside and a fantastic track that in 2019 saw some great battling. So the drivers make their way through turn seven. And the gap seems to be slightly chipped away between Karl Klivort and Rudy Champion. Gap now 1.084 seconds on the previous lap. As Pritzai now holds the fastest lap of the race. A 54.458 second lap time from the Estonian in fourth position. As he is trying to close in on the number 567 of Ian Getz from Belgium. But at the moment Pritzai not close enough yet. As Christoph Adams continues to battle away with uh, Jonathan Wimmer from France in the 560. That's the battle over fifth position and behind them they've got a trio squabbling over what is seventh place that's Christoph Capitan, Bruno Dos Santos and Frederick Baker just behind them. So everyone apart from Rudy Champion, Christoph Adams and Dimitri Ostrovsky from Germany everyone on that previous lap set a personal best uh, with Getz setting the fastest lap of the race of 54 389 so it was Brit size it's now Ian Getz's turn at the fastest lap as Bruno Dos Santos was looking up the inside of countryman Christoph Capitan going through turn 12 but Capitan the 599 shut the door firmly for over half time in this race and the running order is as thus Carl Klebor leading the way by 1.235 seconds ahead of Rudy Champion Ian Getz in third place Brit Sai in fourth Christoph Adams rounds out the top five Jonathan Wimor, Christophe Capitain and Bruno Dos Santos make it a trio of French drivers from places 6 to 8.
Frederick Baker in ninth ahead of Slavomir Moransky, who's got past Germany's Dmitry Ostrovsky uh, for 10th position. Ostrovsky ahead of Juris Zalaitis from Latvia. And Tom Dessert is closing the gap on the Latvian in front. But a real shame for Tom Dessert in the 5.30 from Belgium. Uh, he will now have to uh, wait until he gets another opportunity to fight with these drivers at the, uh, the next round of the season, which, if memory serves me correctly, is going to be the 3rd to the 4th of July, which is in pretty much three months' time. And that's a bit of a long wait. However, they can still race quite a lot in the meantime, especially those that will be... Uh, coming to uh, race with the Rotax Max Euro Trophy as of next week. And again, just like this event, courtesy of the Ministry of Sport of Belgium and the, the Belgian Flemish government, it will be a closed door event. So it will be, next week's event will also be live streamed all the way through the weekend. So some of the, dri the drivers will have to wait another 91 days. That's 13 weeks. Um, or three, well, effectively three months. Uh, that they'll have to wait until things really kick start once again on Saturday, July 3rd at Marienborg. <coughs> Excuse me. Four minutes and 20 seconds still to go. And Pritzai has managed to get his way past Ian Getz for third position. And at the moment, I'm keeping an eye on the gap between Pritzai and Rudy Champion. Champion is about a second off of Karl Klebot. And Pritzai, last time around, was slightly slower than the Frenchman. And again, Pritzai has now, re well, initially retook the fastest lap after lap nine. But Rudy Champion has closed the gap to Karl Klibort to just over nine tenths of a second as the Frenchman in the 5-4-4 Sony card entry representing Piquet's Competition puts in a 54-3-5-2 on, uh, on that particular lap. As we're now off of uh, lap 10, we're on to lap number 11. And we have just under three and a half minutes remaining. Good to see Frederick Baker keeping his elbows out and trying to go for it and trying to catch up with Bruno Dos Santos, who has got past Christophe Capitain. So Dos Santos up into seventh place now. And Baker has Slavomir Moransky behind him. It's not been the easiest of debuts for Slavomir Moransky on the BNL Karting Series front. However, this will give him an opportunity to fight against other drivers and some of which who will be here at the Euro Trophy next week. Pritzai again drops the hammer. The Estonian puts in a 54.226 second lap time and closes the gap once again to Rudy Champion to just under eight and a half tenths of a second. A really good showing from the Estonian. He's had his moments. He's also had his opportunities uh, provided right in front of him and he's taken them with full abandon as there is... Jonathan Wemore, who's got past Christoph Adams for fifth position. So the 560 now ahead of the triple five. That gap between Karl Klibort and Rudy Champion looks to be dwindling again. It was just over a fraction over nine tenths last time around, and now it's just under seven and a half tenths as Rudy Champion puts in a 54-2-7-7 and that is nearly three tenths quicker than Karl Klibbert and I'm sure that Karl Klibbert senses that and will start to push away from Rudy Champion in the dying moments of this race. So all drivers still circulating. We have 90 seconds plus the additional lap in this race for the drivers to complete and circumnavigate. There has been some good battling up and down the order in DD2 Masters. And hopefully we'll see a few more of them back with us in early July at Marienburg for the second round of the second season. And there is Karl Klebot. Rudy Champion again breaks a 
breaks away a little bit, another piece of that gap that is between him and Carl Klibbort. And now we get into the last 60 seconds of the race. Pritzai still has the fastest lap of the race. Rudy Champion, another driver that has gone into the 54-2s, a 54-2-6-1. So that puts his fastest lap time 35 thousandths off of Pritzai. So we're on lap number 14. Very soon we should hopefully be onto the penultimate lap of this race because the way that Carl Clibort has been able to keep the lead has stood him in good stead for this weekend and also for the start of a season. It was a difficult year for Carl Clibort taking a doing a dual campaign in both the Euro Trophy and BNL. So onto the penultimate lap we go. Rudy Champion within three and a half tenths and closing rather rapidly. So Rudy Champion, two wins yesterday, a fifth earlier on today, and now he's trying to go for a win. Started P5 after all the penalties were enforced and the amendments were changed for the results of the pre-final earlier on today so Rudy Champion fancies his opportunity of getting past Carl Clibot but after this lap he'll only have one more he'll have 1360 miles to negotiate uh, meters to negotiate so uh, Champion getting closer and closer as the moments tick down so final lap board is out Carl Clearbot is the first one to see it. Rudy Champion still within three and a half tenths. Uh, Champion goes very deep on the brakes, going through into turns one and two. But Clearbot knows that he is closing. So we'll be down to Carl Clearbot to uh, make sure that his chance of having a double victory puts him in good stead going into Marienburg in just 91 days' time for the second round of the 2021 BNL Karting Series season. Carl Clibort was untouchable, well, was pretty much untouchable in the first race. And in the second one, he has looked rather composed. Cooler than a cucumber is Carl Clibort at this particular moment in time. But Rudy Champion looking to make good his intentions. He's closing and into the final corner. Clibort goes defensive. They power out of the final corner. It is two for Rudy Champion on Saturday. It's two victories for Carl Clebort. Debacker is well and truly back with a bang here in the BNL. And he takes a second victory by 0.131 seconds ahead of Rudy Champion. And a good show of sportsmanship between the pair as they have just uh, they uh, made their way through into turns three and four. Pritzai rounds out the top three. The Estonian finishes 1.35 seconds behind the eventual winner, Carl Clebort. Ian Getz uh, factoring in for the top three all the way through this race and gave some great entertaining overtakes in the process. Finishes P4 ahead of Jonathan Winmore, who started on the front row of the grid. Christoph Adams rounds off his weekend with a sixth place finish ahead, ahead of Bruno Dos Santos. Frederick Baker will be ecstatic with an eighth place finish ahead of Christoph Capitain with Slavomir Moransky 